I've really been struggling. We had to get the speedometer head unit uh, connected to the transmission. It it has not been easy, and Polaris didn't make it easy. I'm I'm a little bummed out about it, but dang it, I want that speedometer to work. I'm gonna lose a lot of support when I do this, but listen, man. Sometimes you gotta take control of the situation. Uh, hopefully, the entertainment value is is worth it. I mean, I spent four bucks on that part. I can't I can't throw away four bucks. So. I'm gonna go great grandpa buck and that means great grandpa got tired of the christmas tree falling over so he literally nailed the tree to the floor so it wouldn't fall over uh we're gonna go ahead and vent a access port for this so next time that keyway breaks somebody won't have a hard time fixing it uh, here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna drill a hole right here and that way i'm gonna have an access port uh, that way from the bottom i can still slide it up and get it in place. It's a made in America steel Polaris. There we go. There's a little access hole. I got some tape over the speedometer. You know where it goes in there. So let's uh, pull that tape off and see how it's gonna see if it's gonna work. So I got my custom my custom access hole. Uh, that's not in the uh, service manual. That's that's a special. Uh, I could write up a special edition Polaris Explorer 400 service guide, authored by yours truly. You think I'm a hack? You don't like it? It doesn't matter if you like it. Look, it works. All right, it's gonna be just fine. Now that we got our custom made access port, and the point of this hole is so that when you come up from the inside, it'll give this bulged out area a place to recess to so you can get enough room and line up the, uh, the keyway. But uh, before you put it back together, go ahead and let's get some high temp grease. Uh, lube, you clean this up, lube it up, so let's go ride. All right, so we're looking up at the transmission. We got our speedometer housing. And so don't put the keyway in yet. I like to go ahead and shove this up here. It's still a tight fit, but it's, it's manageable now, guys. Get the, the butt of it or whatever. Shove that out the back. Get your keyway. We got our keyway installed in the transmission. Now we're gonna slide that housing right over it, line it up, and we should be good to go. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to I need both hands. So I'm going to set this down. And if you don't like it, as Shania Twain would say, whatever. Take it out. Take the flex seal with the sticky side facing the engine and slid it between the plastic and the frame. Now I'm going to go on the other side and I'm going to cut another piece and I'm going to slide it up in between the speedometer unit and the frame and that sticky side will be facing outwards. So it'll push up against this sticky side and that flex seal, once it grabs a hold, it ain't gonna go. This way, there's nothing inside here. So in the event that the flex seal did let go, it won't get hung up in the belt. It's gonna be just fine. You're a hag. Do, do I look like I really care? Let me help you out. No. Hey, let's see if my speedometer trick worked. I hope it helps out. If it does, you want to buy me lunch, there's a link down below. Uh, thanks a lot. Really appreciate all the support. Thanks, guys. I'm getting awesome.